Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Greetings from beautiful Koh Samui. In this video, I just wanted to go over kind of like my average cost of living on this beautiful island. So this is the most common question that I usually get asked from viewers, commenters, and subscribers on the channel. So I just want to go over it and uh, kind of give you some expectations of how much you can look to spend at when you're in Samui. Now keep in mind, this is mostly going to be for long-term stays. So if you're just coming here for vacation, obviously uh, it's not really going to apply to you necessarily. But for me, I've been staying here in Samui for just over two years now. Me and my fiance have a nice house about eight minutes from Lamai Beach and we've been staying there for about two years now. So we have a contract, it's a long-term rental and we just recently decided to extend another six months because, you know, we love living here in Samui. It's a great home base and after traveling for over a month in Philippines and Vietnam, I'm really grateful to be back in Samui. So, that house, um, we've been staying there since about 2021, and we were paying about 9,000 baht per month. This was during the pandemic, so the prices were really low. They didn't really have many customers, and we were very lucky to be one of the first tenants uh, renting this place. I'm just gonna walk down this dirt road real quick. This is the, the road we usually take to get into the town here in Lamai. Pretty convenient, and this is actually one of the things that I was missing while I was traveling is, is uh, driving down this dirt road into town, believe it or not. So yeah, now we spend 15,000 baht per month, which is roughly $450. Just to put things into perspective, uh, you know, when I was living in Austin, Texas for, you know, six years roughly, uh, I was spending about $1,800 per month for a small apartment in the city. So that's, I don't even know what that is in bots, it's like 150,000 baht per month, which is absolutely ridiculous. And now I'm living on a, a beautiful paradise island in Thailand, spending a small fraction of what I was in the United States. Just look at this place right here. Palm trees all around, amazing, here in Lamai. So 15,000 a bot per month, $450, and that's just for renting accommodation, right? Doesn't take into account, obviously, food, transportation, maybe we'll wanna take a vacation or go out, enjoy some nightlife on the weekend. These are all additional expenses, obviously, that you have to take into account. But on average, I would say, on a monthly basis, I spend around 35,000 baht per month. So that's just over $1,000 per month to live on a beautiful island here in Sonoma, right? We've got Muay Thai gyms all around. This one right here. It's very close to my house. Although, I almost never practice Muay Thai. I probably should, though. But yeah, another nice thing about Samui is there's a lot of nice, you know, like health and wellness. Uh, is the weather is excellent pretty much year-round, so I usually like to start out my day with a walk on Lamai Beach. I usually find this is one of the best ways to, to kind of clear my head in the morning. Uh, I like just listening to the waves crash into the shore. And a lot of times I'll also go work out at this gym. Hello. On a, a fishing island. <laughs> so that's a great way to start the day. And uh, yeah, so that's just part of my morning routine. Doesn't really have, any, have anything to do with the, the cost of living. But yeah, just so you know, uh, I would say probably my cost of living is below average. You know, for most people that are that are staying in Samui, obviously you can spend way more than thirty-five thousand baht per month. Um, a lot. Some people come over here and they rent a two, three bedroom villa for sixty thousand baht a month, and that's just their rent. Whereas for me, I like to keep the costs low. I'm not really making a ton of money from this YouTube channel yet, although 
I expect that to change, especially next year. Um, if I continue traveling a little bit more and, and making vlogs from around Thailand as well, I don't see any reason why my income on the channel from ad revenue and, and getting clients, that sort of thing, isn't going to continue to go up. But for the time being, um, I'm making from the channel about $250 per month from ad revenue. So that's almost enough right there just to pay the rent at my house. Plus I'm also making a little bit on Facebook as well every month because I've been able to monetize my audience over there as well. And I'm also starting to work with a coach in Bali who is, is basically volunteering to help me on a coaching basis for the next five days. So we get on a call uh, one day, so the next five days, and he's gonna be helping me to monetize my Facebook group where I have about 13,000 members. They're mostly digital nomads, remote workers from all over the world. So I definitely need to figure out how to actually start monetizing that group as well which will only help to um, afford my, my cost of living over here and hopefully upgrade things a little bit as well. And uh, yeah, so, but I wouldn't recommend coming over to Thailand and, you know, trying to find a job over here because the fact of the matter is uh, a lot of the jobs that you're going to find are, are not going to pay very well. And I've found time and time again that the people just really want to cut costs no matter, no matter what. They're very cheap, <laughs> which is, is not so great. But you also have to take into account that the cost of living in Thailand is a lot cheaper as well. So um, your salary is not necessarily going to be as high. But it's much better if you can find a fully remote job, of course, let's say in the U.S. or Europe and just work remotely while you're living in Thailand. Or, ideally, even better case scenario is you have your own online business or consulting business or something like I do, and you're able to basically just find clients that way. And, and then you're able to sustain your lifestyle while you're over here in Thailand. Now, obviously, there's other cases where uh, some of my friends in Samui, they're retired. So they've obviously already got a lot of money savings in the bank to draw from, or they're getting a pension every month. But for most people, I would say probably most of the subscribers to this channel, you're not going to necessarily be retired or have millions of dollars in the bank, right? So you need to figure out a way to keep your costs as low as possible and as long as you're making something from an online business it doesn't have to be a ton of money it could just be a couple hundred dollars a month then you can do pretty well over here in Thailand considering that the cost of living is is way lower than let's say in the United States where you're paying the majority of your of your salary is going out to rent every month, $2,000, $2,500, $3,000 a month for, you know, living in a city. And then you go outside to walk around and there's homeless people everywhere. It just, it doesn't make sense, right? And for me, like, I had to ask myself that question. Like, there's a very real serious question that I had to, to ask is, you know, if I stay in the U.S., am I going to end up like one of these poor homeless people on the street, right? And for me, that just, it just wasn't an option, right? So I took off, uh, been living over in Thailand for four years now, mostly based here in Koh Samui. I've spent probably at least half of my time on this beautiful island. And uh, I would say very few regrets, very few regrets. Um, and, you know, as I mentioned earlier, I was traveling for just over a month in, in Philippines and Vietnam. And then I enjoyed my experience, but at the same time, I was also really, really grateful to arrive back in Thailand. Uh, as soon as I got to the airport in Bangkok, I just had like this overwhelming sense of relief to be back in Thailand. Uh, so that's sort of a, a teachable moment. And it shows that, you know, 
this is this is where I feel at home. This is where I belong. And I don't really have any plans to go back to the U.S. anytime soon, unless it's to see family. But I would much rather they just come over here and visit me. Even better if I could afford to, you know, if I just buy them a plane ticket and get them over here myself. That way they don't even have to pay for airfare, right? So that's kind of the goal. And I figure as long as I can keep my costs relatively low on a month-to-month -month basis, that's only going to improve the situation. I may not be able to save a ton of money every month, but as long as I can stay here in this paradise island where I'm most happy, then I still consider that a win. So if you're looking to make a move over to Thailand or more specifically Koh Samui, I'd be happy to help point you in the right direction. In fact, I have a friend over here who's been living in Samui for over a year now. And I just recently showed him one of the units at our house because thankfully we have a couple houses that are available for rent. And he's kind of in between places, like he's staying in a place now, but he's spending a little bit more than he would like to. I think like 28,000 baht per month, which is about $1,000 per month. And he wants to lower his, his rent uh, expenditure, right? So I showed him a unit and he's probably gonna take a look at it either tomorrow or Friday. We've got two more units available as well at our place. So if you're interested, um, drop a comment down below. I'd be happy to point you in the right direction. And then obviously there's plenty of other house rentals around here as well, especially now considering that it's low season. So the prices are a little bit lower than they would normally be. And obviously that, that's gonna depend on the, the time of the season. There's high season, peak season, low season. And rainy season is between like November to February. Or more like, yeah, November to, to February here. So for the most part, like year round, it's beautiful, sunny, warm, and just amazing. So if you have any questions whatsoever, Drop a comment down below and also check out my website. You can grab my free ebook. It's a, a digital nomad ebook. And then I also offer consulting, coaching, and that sort of thing as well. But in this video, I kind of just wanted to go over and share my average cost of living. As I said earlier, it's about 35,000 per month, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on you know, how much I'm going out to eat or partying on the weekend, which isn't very much, to be honest. Um, me and my girlfriend, or, or sorry, fiance, are sort of homebodies, so it's not like we're going out partying all the time. And that obviously helps to, to lower the cost of living as well. I made a video interview on Retired Working For You with Chris. He has one of the largest uh, travel vlogs in all of Thailand. This was about a year ago, and I was talking about how I live in Samui on $1,000 a month. And that really kind of just blew people's minds, right? They, they, they didn't think that, would, that was even possible, right? But now, obviously, the, the prices have started to go up a little bit because that was like shortly after the pandemic. And Samui is becoming more and more popular. There's a lot of tourists coming here. There's also a lot of construction on the island as well. Even around this area where I'm at now, there's lots of new villas being built, which is both, I would say, both a good and a bad thing. Obviously, it's good for the economy and, you know, growing, you know, a lot of people coming over here. They're looking for places to either buy or rent. But at the same time, it's also destroying a lot of the nature as well. So I'm seeing big plots of land completely cleared. All of the trees are getting knocked down and big, you know, like cement trucks coming through and trucks full of construction workers and all this stuff. So Samui is definitely, it's definitely blowing up, I guess you could say. Uh, it's becoming a more popular, more attractive option for a lot of people that aren't, aren't necessarily happy in their home country, maybe let's say the U.S. or, or Russia, Ukraine, Israel, uh, these, these countries that are having a lot of p political strife and war and these sorts of things. 
So they're coming over to a place like Samui, or they're going to Phuket or Chiang Mai and, and other parts of Southeast Asia. I think it's, it's a very attractive option for a lot of people nowadays. And I don't see any sign of that slowing down anytime soon. So for me, I feel like I'm in the right place at the right time. And I really just want to continue providing value through this YouTube channel with my subscribers. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do and that's what I'm going to continue doing. And I have no plans on slowing down. So yeah. This is a beautiful area right here. It's kind of on the shortcut road that goes to Maynam. And uh, this is where we live on the island for just over two years now. It's close to Lamai Beach. It's only about an eight minute drive from here. It's also close to where my fiance works at the school. So it's just very convenient. It checks a lot of the boxes for, for both of us. And um, yeah, there's really not too much to complain about, right? So if you're looking for a place to rent, or you know, if, even if you're looking for, if you like to buy a house in Samui, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Again, link to my website in the, in the comments below, description below, where you can schedule a consultation call and I'm a wealth of knowledge about pretty much all things Thailand. And I also have a lot of connections over here as well. So if you're looking for like a local real estate agent or maybe a visa attorney or a lawyer, um, real estate agent, yeah, anything like that, then I'd be happy to help point you in the right direction. And yeah, this video is starting to get a little bit long now. It's almost 18 minutes. So I think I'm going to wrap things up. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, until the next one, take care, stay safe. Peace from Koh Samui.